So who else needs to move? You need to move. You're gonna do enemy fleets leaving the orbit and blockade the star system if ruled by an enemy. And same for you. Colonization of a celestial body with an environment this hostile is not a simple thing, mastery of celestial bodies. An empire can go far if it has such stepping stones. This can be seen as the end of the beginning of space exploration. Uh, I guess it's because I got... I colonized a lava planet or something? I don't know. New deal proposed by Amoeba. How about no? Industry. Nice. We're, we're doing some pretty good work here. I might actually consider switching these out. Uh, this hero for the other uh, science hero that I have. She has 11 wits and you have 17 wits. 192 on this system. 266 on this system. I think I should switch them around. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so let's do... We'll change Naratya to here. Assigned to system. 320 instantaneously. In the meantime, we have this system. Which one of these has the most potential for science. I think Temos is doing really well for itself. So I don't really need a governor on it right now. Helium Baron. This helium planet might be nice for, for science. 75. It will eventually get there. 12. 20. It's like 4, 8. And Tares, on the other hand, 12 and 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. It might, be, it might benefit for having a um, governor. We have Gobris, Baron and Arid, Zinius, Arctic, Arctic and large gas hydrogen. Zinius. Oh, it's hydrogen? It, oh! It's hydrogen and what? Tekal, this is gas helium. Oh, so helium is science, hydrogen is dust. Interesting, there's different types of, of gas giants. See, this gives a lot of dust per citizen. Let's see, what would Cheng be like? Tiny Arctic, small jungle, small arid, and small desert. This system is doing pretty well for itself already, though. Might actually switch out the guy from Janus' system. Eventually, though. Aldebaran, what are you doing? Gas helium. Baron. Small tundra. Are we colonizing anything? No, and we should. So let's do. Colonize helium. Yes. We will colonize the helium planet. Mm -hmm. EM radiation, eh? Okay. Bunny. Barren arid large gas helium. Might benefit from a governor. 
small added, no exploitation, it's about to change. Circini Arctic Solar Farm and a huge barren planet. This might be nice for a governor to get her hands dirty. Lava, lava, no exploitation. Well, we need to fix that. Ninety-three. You know what? I will. Thank you. Hanai is not mine. Deki, Arctic, Arctic, and methane. Methane is production. Interesting. This might be a good idea for a governor. Either that or Tekal. Barren, planet, arctic, desert, planet, arid, lava, planet, tundra, jungle, I guess, yeah, the only thing to do some more science here, even though it's not complete synergy. Try to... S mm. Either that or Deki. Deki would really benefit from having a governor. Meh, put her here. Assign to system. There we go. Do, do, do. And in one turn now, incredibly fast, we'll finish short range entanglement. And then we'll finish some stuff over here too, really fast. Very good. Very good. Nothing on the moon. Short range entanglement. 33% bonus. Of course, we completely fucking forgot, or rather, I completely fucking forgot to check what I had uh, last turn for FIDs and stuff. Complete. Actually, we'll load the, the autosave. So, let's see. Uh, save this right now, because we're gonna use this and we'll load the autosave from last turn and see what the difference is specifically okay so 137 gold produced let's actually see on the main planet 326 food 29161 326 29161 Okay, and we'll load. Wait a minute, is it? What? This isn't an. This. This auto saved at the start of the turn. What? Okay, I'll load this auto save then. <clears throat> sure. Uh, 134. So 336, 333, three, and 70. What? 
334, 3167. Hmm. Auto save at the start of the turn, eh? 326, 290, 161. What kind of a. What? Science production stupidly increased. Everything else went. What? What? Okay, so the whole point here is to understand how short-range entanglement is working on my economy, right? Okay, good. Thanks, no. Um, three, three, five, three, three, three. Oh, because I have lots of people here. Okay. So it's, let's actually mimic the population too. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Okay, okay. Um, this is three, three, five, three, 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 and 70. And loading the save when we have it researched. We have, da, 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 it's gonna be a little bit more tricky here. That would be, th yeah, it's a little. Uh, oh, wait, balls, no, 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 go back. Okay, I think it's a positive, but I don't know, I don't know why we suddenly have this much science production on this planet. I, I think quantum entanglement is working to our favor. I don't know why we have from planets, from improvements, from main system. Uh, okay, it's... I still haven't quite managed to figure out what the exact impact is. So maybe let's do another load game. Load this autosave. Find a planet that doesn't change much at all between the two saves, not the main planets. Any any other planet that doesn't have growth of any kind. Okay, this one, it doesn't it won't grow in population. It won't produce any uh, new structures. It doesn't have a governor. Nothing is likely to change between the two turns. We have one uh, we have 1982-26 and minus 10. 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 Xenus. 1982-26 and minus 10. Okay. I'm going to guess here that quantum entanglement didn't do anything. Um, maybe. Bleh. 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 Three, five, nine, three. First in Fitz production. Actually, let's check that number too. Three five nine three. Da, da, da. Um. Three four oh eight. Don't think that's a percentual increase. I think it's more of a. 
just me building shit increase. Okay, I guess quantum entanglement didn't do anything. Uh, right, fuck, whatever. Yeah, mm, sure. Anyway, um, the balls are we doing this turn? This thing is doing some stuff. 65, yes, I will pay for that. Cheng, what's Cheng doing? One turn until... Uh, no, why? Endothermic, no. Oh, 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 because it will increase the jungle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, on jungle, it's 11 thingies, okay. It will increase the population cap on jungle, but large tundra. Food, production, yada yada. Let's see. Planet Terran, 2 on tundra, 1 on tundra. And we're gonna do tundra. No, another jungle planet. Yes. We'll colonize the other jungle planet as well. We'll skip you. Colonize you after next turn. Actually, you know what? I'm feeling it. Yes, let's do that. Okay. Rigel. Three hundred and four. <laughs> I would have had enough money. Oh well. Um, Comatite volcano. Okay, can't do anything here. Circini. Planetary Institute. One hundred twenty-two. You know what? I think I kind of wanna. Yes. Okay. Kionos. Can't afford it. Zubang. Heavy isotope refinery is not yet done on Zubang. Okay, can't do anything about it right now. Freight notes. Uh, 32 for one turn of infinite supermarket. Would be worth it. Let's see if there's nothing better though. Uh, nothing here, but it's storing production, so that's not a problem. Tiny Arctic. Eh, huge Arctic, eh, large gas hydrogen, eh, proto orchids. Hmm. Hmm. One percent fits per proto orchid on Empire. Eh, that's not bad. Eden and Sench. Um, medium tundra mineral poor. Can I compensate? No, I can do a moon survey, which would be nice. I can also do planets with explored moon, that would be interesting. Tundra, just plus one on Tundra. Ten turns, seven turns. We'll do... Three per citizen. That's yeah. And then we'll do yeah. Okay. Kionos. Wait a minute, what were we going to buy? Suban, was it on Bani? Yes, let's buy that. Okay. percent trade routes distance bonuses on star system I don't have any trade routes influence area not really interested um, I need more gold 137 need more gold to buy more stuff Actually, since there's so many people on strike already, let's see if we can min-max into getting more gold. I 
think that should be okay. Buy some improvements to mitigate that unhappiness and then we'll return to another slightly more humane uh, taxation rate. Okay, I should also think about maybe making some um, making some new ships. Curious though. Thresher ship class. Roll multiple. Notice anything? Available ship designs. No. Add. Okay. Uh, the ship design view is used to create a new ship, sh new ship designs or modify existing ones. Basically, a ship design is the combination of a ship class or hull and a list of ship modules. When you create a new ship design, you select a ship class here. Ship classes vary in tonnage and also offer special bonuses to certain module types. The greater the tonnage, the more industry points the ship will cost to build. If this this is a new ship design, you must give it a name of your choosing. The tonnage is an absolute limit to how many ship modules you can build into a ship. Some technologies allow you to increase the ship's tonnage capacity through miniature miniaturization. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the proper way to spell it, or maybe you know, whatever. Special slots are required to build these special modules, and their availability depends on the type of hull. As you progress in the game, you'll discover new modules to install in your ships. Use these tabs to switch between the families of modules. Weapon and defense support and special. To add or remove a module from a ship, simply click on plus or minus. Uh, symbols in the available modules area. Some categories may have several module options depending on a range or specialization. This is the type. This is try what for weapons as well as for special modules. Probably true. Okay, module status is shown as follows. A module which has not been researched will be disabled. Gray. Adding a module with impossible uh, a module will be impossible if the weight of that module exceeds the remaining tonnage capacity. Or, as in this case, if the module requires uh, access to a strategic resource. A module included in the ship design is highlighted with a blue frame. The quantity of that module is displayed in the bottom right of that area. Quantity. Hmm. The ship area summarizes which uh, summarizes within each category box. The modules currently selected for the ship design are summarized with the, within each category box. Some modules can be damaged. The repair rate depends on the system their ship is orbiting on or ally. You can click the auto upgrade button to automatically fill up the ship with modules. Once you're finished, click the create apply button. Okay, so we do have the uh, stuff unlocked here. We have workshop, we have cutter, we have sickle, hull weakness on ship, support module power tonnage on ship, hull weakness on the ship, support module engine tonnage on ship, support module civilian tonnage on ship. Oh, the, that's actually a boost, minus percent support module power tonnage on ship, that means that you can fit more tons because it reduces the tonnage cost of the modules that you fit. I don't know what the hull weakness is exactly. That's probably a downside, I guess. Cutter, or else it would say hull strength. <laughs> um, this is a fast ship. Civilian tonnage, yes. Support module armor tonnage on ship. Fresher. Interesting. I don't... Mm, special slots. So it has a slot available for specialization. Deep. Let's see. 
Support modules. Power armor civilian. Seed mod. Really? Let's add a seed mod. Let's add some engines. And that's about <laughs> that's about it for this type of ship. Let's see. Engine support don't really want that. Lossless fusion pods. Special modules. How much tonnage do they have? This one has 200. This one has 100 and this one has 202. Sickle or Thresher? Thresher has more special module slots but they don't have special modules yet. Sickle, support module, power, tonnage on ship, design. What's this? Uh -huh. Engine. What? Invasion score. power what does this do damage max on weapons damage min on weapons okay defense defense on defenses <laughs> great um 50 percent health on ships repair per battle phase fleet repair per turn Module regeneration. Interesting. Civilian, obviously, I don't want any of that. Special modules, weapon. Deflect. Kinetic projectile deflection per round, plus the 200 defense. Oh, I can add lots of these. And kinetic damage, long range, hard kinetics. Kinetic weapon damage. This version of hard kinetics is optimized to put holes in expensive hardware at long range. Though at long range it does the job job poorly. What? It's optimized for long range, but it sucks at long range. Uh, okay. Okay, let's add all the fucking damages. How many can we add? As many as we can fit in the tonnage. Ooh, that's good to know. Kinetic projectiles deflected per round and 10 military thingy. 25 projectiles per cell. <laughs> okay. How much tonnage is 8 tonnage? Okay. 6. Accuracy score of the selected ship. Special. Scout armor would be nice maybe. But that's 30 tonnage. Interesting. I don't think I'm going to build this ship yet because I, I would rather research some more actual military technology, but this is interesting. Support module armor tonnage on ship. Support module power tonnage on ship. Yo, yo. It would be an interesting thing. Um, yes. Workshop. Modify. Let's see if we can improve the workshop design or something. I'm just curious. Can we add some more armor on it? And that will increase the... It will increase the production cost, but we can add two more armor on it. If we really wanna, for some reason can add engines on it, which I would actually like. You can add some engines on it. Mm -hmm. Meh. Alright, at least we know how that works. 
two more turns until what exactly? Until we research vacuums. <laughs> planet with explored moon and 30%. Ooh, ooh nice. Mm. Colonial rights. Trying to go for a score victory. Doing okay. Let's see, a geothermal energy plant is the only thing that remains uh, of this concrete endless city. Whatever brought their downfall apparently desired their source of energy. Plus two production per person on planet, 20 turns. Where? Aldebaran. Two. Okay. Plus two production per person on planet. But I think we're already getting more production from people on this other planet, so it doesn't really... <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Um, large gas helium. Well, it's science based. Might well, it doesn't really matter what I pick. Either I want to get more of something else on the system, or I want to maximize my science ability for. I'll I'll go with maximizing the science ability. Right. Dismissed. And we've built quite a lot of other things as well. Okay, science conversion. Anything new to build? Nope. Science conversion, anything new to build? Nope. Where do I have my other person in Tekal? Ah, oh, yes, in Tekal. 89. Yeah, you know, she's not really benefit benefiting this system in any particular way other than science production. So probably I should reconsider my choices. Because this thing has an already big science production. So she would boost it or more. Yeah. Assign to system. To a star system. May. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, she, she doesn't have... Not like this guy who has specialties in food production and production. She doesn't actually contribute to the growth of a system. The science-based hero, which is a mishap on my part, is probably better in a system that already has uh, been developed well. So she doesn't really do that much on Tekal. I should have put her on Timos, definitely. Or Antares, but probably Timos, because they have more things to boost with the percentage value that she gives an extra. Right, though, let's see. Yes, I want to build this. Infinite supermarkets. Let's let's check the other planets, though, first. No exploitation. Definitely we're going to do some food exploitation here. How much is that? 93? No, thanks. Deki supermarkets 14 cost 373. I would love to, but I can't afford it. That is what I'm thinking of. And infinite supermarkets is required as well. Okay, do we have any supermarkets here? I th no, no, we don't. No. At least I didn't accidentally cancel the Planetary Institute and lose all of my production in it. <sighs> oh, 50 for this. I think I really want to build this. Yeah, definitely. I'll try that. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. 115.8. Zinus Moon Survey. Rigel. Eh, get the focus anymore, that's fine. So, 158 here. score all right <laughs> nice trade routes over here I really can control the trade routes though. So. If I built this thing here, I don't think it would really improve anything. I mean, there's no trade routes. There's nothing I can, like, bleh. Outgoing trade routes list, I can't. Oh, I can. Ooh, interesting. Well, no. Oh, no, no, it just sends me to my own planet with the trade out. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, I can't influence it. Um, influence area on star system. Sure, I'll make it because I'm bored. And I'll make both of them because I'm bored. I'm just curious if it'll affect anything, if it'll make any trade routes route through here or something. I'll probably just end up losing money money on it, but meh. Whatever. What do we get in one turn? We get vacuum cleaners and colonial rights. Excellent. Careful sweeping. <coughs> And colonial rights, which I want to start building on a lot of planets as soon as possible. Okay, magnetic field generators over here. We'll do that. I think we can. Mitigate the aurora waves. Can't mitigate the high gravity. Hmm. There we go. The moon survey eventually. After we do the moon survey, wait a minute, what is... Ah, science, meh, whatever. Uh, okay, we'll do something like that. Careful sweeping. <laughs> That's just too silly. Okay. That's that. Xenus. This 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 is actually doing a this planet is actually doing very well for itself. Okay, we'll do this. We will do this and this after we do this, so uh, Geo-industrial plant, what does that do? Extra production. On lava, on planet, on tundra. Okay, I could do some extra production here. Or something. Oh, 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 this, this, this is a good idea. 
five. Is that three? Yeah, we'll do this, this. Nah, we'll do this first. Uh, tiny and small. Ooh, yeah, we definitely want that too. Okay, so we'll do that, then that, then... Okay, that makes sense. We'll queue up these satellites eventually. Janus. We have only one moon, which is not surveyed yet. So we'll survey the moon. No, we didn't want to do that. I wanted to do... <coughs> there we go. And colonial rights. Should be very good. And we'll do this too. Okay. Antares. I'll get back to you. Um, three more turns. Okay. Have we surveyed the moon? Empty moon. Aww. Well, we'll do this and then we'll do some of this. Should be okay. Mucho min maxing has happened that day. Okay. Tickle. Lots of stuff still producing here. Supermarkets, colonial rights after the supermarkets. That should be fine for now. Twenty <laughs> crop seeding. I think we need super. <laughs> There's some mighty unhappy people there. Moon surveys and whatnot for mighty unhappy people over here too. Okay. Farms Planetary Institute, yes please. Actually hmm. Infinite supermarkets, 21 turns. How many? 20, 60. Okay, so you first. <sighs> it's not really worth it like this. I, not until I get asteroid belt colonization or something. Cheng. Rigel. Kionos. ATA. Would be a bad idea.
Okay. We're researching what? We're researching unlimited information highways for even more improvement, uh, even more approval. And minus 40% overpopulation disapproval on star system. That should be good. But we need hexaferrum. Which we don't have. Where is hexaferrum? Hexaferrum. And we'll queue that up next, I guess. What else? That's one. Where's two? Oh, that's two. I don't think we have ex hexaferrum resources, though. Mm -hmm. Moon survey. Kind of want to fill out, you know, fill out the system entirely, and once I have that done, which will take a while still, uh, once I have that done, I'll move this guy to another system to help it, him help him populate it. Hyper skill farms on jungle. Any other bonuses from jungle? No, no. Temple finance and two industrial plant. Mm hmm. Okay. Colonial rights returns. No, oh, I forgot about this planet. Four turns. Genetic crop seeding. Ocean jungle desert arctic have barren? No. Does it have tundra? Yes. Uh, okay. For now, I guess. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Hellgrounds. I can partially mitigate this. It'll take a goddamn long time, though. Fuck. Fuck. What's the downside of Hellgrounds? Oh, mm, yes, yes, that would be a good idea. Actually. this though. Maybe.
Empty moon. Oh no. What's this? No. Fuck off. Empty moon. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm going for eight turns. Twenty two turns. Let's see what else we can talk these guys into. Hmm. Trade dust, improve the blah, blah, blah. Oh, we can buy these here. Definitely. Achievement unlocked. Getting schooled. I don't know what the fuck that is for. Let's see if the steam overlay will... Level up a hero to level 10. Okay. Uh, ranking leader in the swarm. Yes, he is. Negotiator. We can do some negotiator too. Offense. Or we can do veteran. That's plus one on everything. Which is kind of nice, but kind of small. I think we'll do negotiator. And get started on doing some of the uh, science and the dust. Okay. Developing leaders game event. Whether they are alien or similar to you, the recruitment and development of heroes of this quality bodes well for your empire. Any leader requires talented subordinates, and yours appear to be among the best. Of course. Let's actually see where da, da, da. Academy size next hero in sixteen turns. Okay. And we wanna switch one of my heroes from one place to the other. Medium desert, a temporal finance, huge Arctic. And huge jungle. Yeah, we'll switch her here for now. We'll do Bantry. Assigned to system. And then when Antares is a little bit more well developed, we'll switch her over to here, I think. Tekal is nice and all, but I don't think it really... Not yet, anyway. It needs to grow a little bit more.
Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Hello, Acer Sage. Did you just see what happened though? I clicked the moon survey and instead of shuffling it to the front of the build order, like it did for the last I don't know how long, it put it at the end of the build order now. What? 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 Silly, silly game. I wish I wouldn't like every. Maybe I'm getting older, or maybe I'm and and more, more. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> more criti critical in my old age, but it seems like I haven't played a bugless game or a nigh bugless game in ages. Endless Legend. Uh, maybe it was bugless, but it was shit. <laughs> Um, Homeworld Remastered Collection. I couldn't play that game without finding a bug every single fucking hour. This game apparently has some bugs too. Warframe, let's not even get started on Warframe, but at least it's a nice game. What else have I been playing? StarTech Online? Well, if anyone tells you that that game doesn't have bugs, they're full of shit. I wish there were bugs, uh, games without bugs. Even Blizzard games that I've played, I find bugs in them. Maybe I should be a game tester or something. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Q looks okay. Actually, I want to move that over. Mm hmm. Again, to the end. I, I don't know, it suddenly decided to act according to my wishes. I don't really mind it though. I'm just not sure what the fuck caused it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for it. That's the kind of behavior, the Q behavior that I wanted it to have, but I don't know what caused it. If there's a toggle that I accidentally toggled, I would love to know about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Anyway, um, take out Xakor. Yeah, Xakor is pretty much self-sustaining at this point. Aldebaran, no exploitation. We're gonna do that. And we want to colonize the large barren planet too. Weird. It suddenly just twi switched in the middle of my match. Sure. Okay, 11. Da, 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 da. Let's colonize this sooner though, because it will affect a lot of things. Colonial rights. Yeah, we'll do colonial rights first. Did we do a moon survey here? Empty moon. Interplanetary blah 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 network. Tiny and small. We'll do this, this, and we'll queue this up. It, eh, it's fine. Xenis, how are you? Doing well, I see. Yeah, they're doing good here. 
Cobres. Going to be done in one turn with that anyway. Moon survey queued. Dust queued. Small Baron. Aurora waves. Three turns for minus science. Eh, it's fine. Weird. I'm glad for it, but it's really weird. <laughs> That's, yeah, good one, Acer Sage. You missed the Kappa face, though. <laughs> okay. Um, colonial rights. Yes, definitely colonial rights, but also this. And some colonization. Small arid. Void stones. <laughs> Large gas helium. <laughs> Radiated. This is black. Colonize the arid one next. And we'll also colonize the large barren one too. I'm going by the assumption that this is uh, the that growth is about like it was an endless legend, and the higher the population is in the system, the more it takes to achieve one extra unit of population, and you always need one unit of population to colonize an extra planet. But I also want to have a minimum of population, uh, so as not to um, spread it away from the planets that I want populated, if you get what I mean. Uh, let's see, four more turns for another population. I'll do this and this, how about? And then maybe I'll just buy them at that point, I don't know. Uh, okay, it's fine. Where the fuck are we? Bunny system. Zinio system. Tiny Arctic, colonizable. Let's colonize, I don't even know. <laughs> Radiate. Uh, colonize the Arctic planet. After colonial rights, because they're important. Zubang. I wish I could buy that off. Tiny Terran. Tiny Terran needs this. Tiny Terran will have this. Cersini, small Arctic. I'm not going to colonize yet. It's fine as it is. Six turns, eh? Hmm. Maybe next time I'll buy that. I want to have these two planets full because they have a lot of potential for uh, food production. Or at least nigh to full, you know, close to full. And then I'll start colonizing the other ones. And that should give Cheng a good, good start, I think. Colonial rights. Moon surveys. And we'll add the dust thingy too. Rigel. Can buy off colonial rights here. Could be a good idea. Though might be a better idea to save up some more money and buy it on a planet that has more. Yeah, three turns, it's a little. Yeah. Yeah, we'll wait for that. Everything is going well, my score is progressing nicely. I'm getting ahead. I'll have some more approval technologies soon. Cooperation agreement, invite to alliance and create alliance. Maybe we'll have a diplomatic victory. Well, 
Let's see. You leveled up. Nice. <laughs> we can get some chicken and spaghetti. Hey. <clears throat> Uh, but that's that's just for blockaded systems and systems under siege, so... You can call it making deal, cutting corners or getting the job done. But whatever it takes, the hero will ensure that even a system under blockade will be able to feed its population. Oddly enough, it has nothing to do with the food production. Uh, trade routes on star system. That might be a good idea because she has a star system with... Uh, some nice trade routes going in here and we can make an uh, unlimited information highway it doesn't really the system doesn't really need it though hello Sierra legend oh, nice name <laughs> sure shoot what's your question here's hoping it's not some sort of an elaborate insult uh, okay might be a good idea to give her an extra trade route. Okay, you can actually benefit from this. Content. Expansion disapproval, overpopulation disapproval. Let's go back to Yanis though. From Empire, from Improvement. Expansion disapproval, overpopulation disapproval. Faction trade. Okay, we definitely need to build this here. Antares, colonial rights. Overpopulation disapproval. Me, 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 me. Any moons here? Yes, we have some moons. Are they surveyed? Yes, they are. We'll queue up you and we'll queue up you as well. Large tundra throughput. Maybe I can do something fun here. No, no, no fucking difference whatsoever. And the growth rate at the top. Yeah, it does improve the production rate of food somewhat, but no. Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah. Okay, sure. How to queue? How to queue reach in different areas? What do you mean? I don't understand the question. Sorry. How to queue a reach in different areas? Are you are you sure that's the word that you want to use there? I don't understand the question, sorry. Colonial rights should do fine here. We have one moon, is it? Yes, it's underway for a survey. I can actually cancel this. Aldebaran. They're doing fine. Okay. Okay, I'll I'll wait for you to rephrase the question. That's fine. Don't really need this improvement here. So why pay seven dust per turn for it? Bleh. And also it's weird that it requires hexaferrum. I don't where do I have hexaferrum? I don't have hex oh wait a minute. I do have hexaferrum. Did it actually the oh yeah interesting okay so this extreme metallurgy was also completed this turn where where the hell is it resource discovered okay cool 
Exaferum exploitation allows for... Uh, and we researched both of them, because this one was required so little research, it was just completed straight away. Okay, cool. Next, rudimentary telepathics, and I need to look into researching... Excuse me, something else. <clears throat> Alright. So we have labor, maybe. We have trade routes, bonuses on star system, or we can get another trade route. I think trade routes, bonuses might be a good idea. Like we've seen, she has some good trade routes in Xakor. See? So 20%, that would mean... Yeah, 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 I think, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, okay, why not? Yeah, let's do trade routes bonuses. Smart investor. Accept. That will not do anything whatsoever. Okay, moving on. Uh, so Sierra Legends question actually was, how do you queue research in different areas? Okay, <clears throat> well it's uh, convenient that you ask now. <laughs> so, uh, kind of had to find this out the hard way because the game doesn't, I don't think the game explains it, but the idea is, so you queue, click on one of these things, you can either Don't try to click in any menus made by this company because it will dismiss the menus. Uh, anyway, you click on one of these things, it activates it for research. Okay, okay, good. If you click on something that's further, it activates the prerequisites as well. In whatever order it sees fit. If you want to queue different types of research, hold shift and then you can click another one to queue it. You can click one from here, or one from here, and they're all queued, they're all green, and gonna, gonna research. So it's just shift. So hold shift, and click on the next uh, research that you want to queue up. I'm gonna keep with this one though. C control used to work, I think, but for some reason it doesn't work anymore either. So just shift, and then it queues them up. I hope that answers your question, because <laughs> I'm, I think I'm, I was a little bit fuzzy. If you require more clarification, please do ask again. Optics Research Lab sounds nice. Barren gas, helium, planet, Arctic Ocean. On helium. You know, that, that actually sounds really nice. That's just fighting. Lossless transmission, that's on ships, that's on ships, that's some more stuff for ships. Planetary exploitation, that might be a good idea. Oh, stasis containment, plus two stack capacity multiplier on system, but we don't really use stacks right now. 15% interest for stacked industry on star system, that would be nice, but we don't really use stacks. Okay, I'm glad I managed to somehow answer your question, Sierra Legend. <laughs> Um, transformations, oh, this might be good, extreme anomaly, mitigation, reduction, rather. Asteroid stuff, string gravitic drive. This also gives 12 movement speed improvement on ships, on the entire fucking empire for only 4 turns, that would be nice. Don't really use ships right now though. Harvester, auto repair per turn. Plants when it's an explored moon. Hydro sequencing, seven turns. Hmm. Dark energy effects. Whoa. Endless Empire. Building five copies of this improvement leads to victory. Two, two approval on each system and minus 20 dust on improvement. 
The universe is even more... Oh, we need Siderite, or Calcax, Adamantian, and Quadrix. Negative mass mechanics. Helium. Expansion disapproval on system. Oh, that might be good. I really need to mitigate some of that expansion disapproval. Bonus. Buyout bonus on meh. Yeah, you actually need to build an improvement to mitigate the buyout. Yeah, yeah sure, no. Uh, only if I were in an extremely affluent empire, which I'm not. Advanced scholastics. Meh. Have that. Finance commission. That might be a good idea. Wasteless supply. Trade routes, distance bonuses on star system. Hmm. Quasari car kicks. Ooh, corporeal freedom. What does that mean? Traditional religion and social mores tend to keep a tight rein on body evolution and the physical alteration of an individual's organism. However, for an enormous number of reasons, political, economic, and practical, governments tend more and more to let individuals freely change their physical structure through augmentations, grafts, clones, implantations, tattoos, electronic uh, etchings, and other alterations. Interesting. Corporeal freedom. So basically, we're gonna make a ta tattoo parlor <laughs> or something. Um, Sierra Legend asks, "What race do you recommend for a newbie?" Well, I'm gonna be honest. I'm I'm not entirely an expert at this game, but I'm playing as the automatons and trying to ignore military entirely. And so far, it's been good for me. I'm playing on normal automatons. Let's see. We can actually take a look at their. Um, bonuses here automatons affinity they can stack res uh, they can stack production so if you accidentally forget to produce something in a star system for a while they'll actually stack the production so it's not wasted uh, oh yeah and five percent interest for stacked industry on system you can also use this to do some funny stuff with the colony ships colony ships negate population growth while they're in production but if you stack the production and then build the colony ship with the stacked production, it only negates uh, population growth for the turn in which you actually have the ship in queue, which could be very useful for early expansion. I didn't know that, I only found it out today. Uh, spendthrifts, minus 10% dust on system, meh. Merchants, plus one trade routes cap on system. Hellgrounds, faction trait. Fortunate side effect of the Tan Erbo Horticultural Tampering. That's a faction trait? Really? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, actually... Oh yeah, nah, I guess I guess Hellgrounds is specific to them. It's not... It's, it says here that it's a minus, but it's kind of a plus because it gives you plus uh, food production, which is nice. Uh, optimistic gives you plus approval, which is also very nice. Crowded planets, uh, more... Uh, population cap on planets which is also very nice diplomats 50 percent trade route bonuses on system very very nice anarchists command points cap on empire don't really care because i'm trying to not have um fleets meh 20 percent health on mm, trade route bonuses per cooperation treaty on system symbiosis dust impaired Abilities dust cost on hero, again I'm not trying to use fleets, and defense. I th so I think if you don't want to go for a very aggressive strategy, automatons are probably your best bet. I was I was looking at automatons and uh, I forget the name of them. Fuck, there's another uh, a science focused race that is also very good. And if you don't have the game yet, Wait for a sale. It can go on really deep discount during a Steam sale or something. You can get it for as low as 5 or something euro. 
which is really very very good for this game um, but yeah automatons seem like a very good race if you're one if you want to be a pacifist I don't know about a, a good fighting race yet uh, maybe I'll try to play a fighting race next match uh, after I finish this one <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh, she leveled up again? No, I just forgot to dismiss this thing. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I was gonna buy some stuff. Okay, infinite supermarket. I can buy this thing here. 279. Yes, please. I can also... 592. Rigel is gonna be completing that soon. 493. I can buy it here too. Infinite supermarkets. Nice. Need that approval. Mm. I think um, I was reading on the wiki, and I think a player actually designed the automaton race. So, mm -hmm. kind of curious to see what the area is like over here now. Okay, NZ town. How is the score? Nine eighty seven. Okay, another level up. Trade route bonuses, I don't think she really cares about that. Wit, definitely want some more wit on her. And then we can also get this. Ooh, nice. Sweet. Xenus. Limited information highways. Um. Am I from Europe? Yes, I am from Europe. I'm from Romania, because Romania sucks, so that's why I'm there. <laughs> uh, okay. This system is growing rather nicely, thanks to this hero primarily. Look at this guy. He is fucking crazy. 38% bonus food, 15 extra food, 20% extra food, plus 2 food per person on planets. Yeah. He is one crazy motherfucker. Huge Arctic. Hmm. I suppose this planet could use the limit unlimited information highways. Okay. Timos. Mm -hmm. Click, thank you. This planet just doesn't need... no, it just doesn't need that. Eh. Okay, large ast... I need to colonize asteroids. What, what's the research for that? What am I even researching now? I'm researching this. One more turn. I didn't queue up anything, did I? <laughs> I just looked at a lot of research and I didn't queue up anything. Uh, where's the asteroid thingy? Gravitix Drive, Deep Space Facility. You provide a perfect location for a center of research into the uses and effects of low gravitation. A side effect of this knowledge, of course, is the ability to use technology and the asteroids themselves to improve system defense. Per colonized asteroid. I, does this mean that I can colonize asteroids? This looks like an improvement that bonuses to asteroids, but it doesn't... Hmm. It doesn't say that it lets me colonize asteroids. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. 
this is the colonized asteroid thing. And we'll research. Kinda wanna get to here to get the expansion disapproval reduction. Oh cool. Sierra Legend is from the UK. UK is nice. I, I guess I've never been there. I've only been to Germany actually. I've, the only trip I've taken outside of Romania was to Germany. Mm, gas chain transformation, eh? Hmm. It requires the combined capacities of. Hmm. 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 I could use this to transform planets into science gas giants, maybe, and then go for a science victory. That might be a plan. I think I have enough research queued up for now, though. Let's see. Colonial rights. Colonial rights almost done here. How much? 592. Oh, yeah, I'm making a lot of money. <laughs> you can do some of this too. 1,447 shit. I think I want to build colonial rights on this thing. Yeah, I want to yeah, buy it, I mean. Or here. Infinite supermarkets, 182. Maybe. Maybe. Colonial rights, 306. Whoa. Eh. Strike. This will definitely push them over the edge here. So I will buy it out. And then I'll try to buy it on Cheng as well to get them happier. <clears throat> with the money that I make next turn. 604 I should have, which should be enough to buy it out. Hopefully. Um, in the turn. Let's see. Accuracy on weapons, blah blah blah. Planetary exploitation. Global Tech Park. This improves the exploitations I already have. <clears throat> so that's good. Yay! Lots of approval improving structures. Let's actually buy this out on Cheng because I want to push Cheng to be one of my most developed systems. Okay. Kionos Infinite Supermarkets. Eh, I could have bought this if I didn't... Whoa, I had exactly enough dust to buy off the colonial rights on Cheng. <laughs> okay, colonize Arctic. Everything is looking okay here. Yeah, one population every turn. Birth rate, 69%. Whoa. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> the people on the homeworld are fucking a lot. Great. Uh, Sierra. Okay, Sierra Legend. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the compliment. And um, I hope I will have some entertaining streams for you in the future. Though, I think... I'll have to put some more time into university, sadly, in the near future. We'll see. Uh, check out the schedule. If you stop by the stream sometimes when I'm not on, I'll try to update the schedule at least once a week or something. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Doop -de -doop. Okay, let's continue. I think we have about another half hour or so of endless uh, endless space time tonight. Hmm. Score is looking okay, but the amoeba are also doing really, really well. They're doing really, really well too. They're... Nah, no wonder they have a lot of resources on their worlds. Balls! Look at all those fucking orchards. Effective resource monopoly 4 plus. 10% fits on Empire. Gosh. And they do have, they do have four plus orchards. Mm-hmm. 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 Enter. Possess at least four units of Eden incense. Plus 40 invasion on impact. I don't really need that, but thanks. Amoeba Diplomat requires one titanium. Um, minimize, how much do I have? I suppose I could spare it. I wanna... yeah, sure. Atmospheric Engineering, now we can... Colonize asteroids. Let's see, where are the asteroids that need colonization? Oh, you're doing fine. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's cute. Okay. Uh, Aurora is meh. Okay, colonize the little tiny asteroid. So silly. We'll do that. Xiakor can colonize an asteroid. Okay. Four hundred and two resources. Cheng is unhappy, but at least not in strike. Mitigating hell grounds, that would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. Kionos. Yeah, you're fine. Rigel is not building anything, but it did stock up the production, so that's fine. Um, Comatite Volcano. We need some... overpopulation. No. Expansion disapproval is huge on this system. Let's see. Desert Arctic Arid Tundra. Arctic Arid Tundra. Ocean. Bleh. Yeah, we have lava. Uh, seven turns on that. We could do acid rain tundra, which would be a bad idea because that would. Oh my god, the fucking uh, approval. Yeah, no. Baron. Can we force jungle, ocean? No. I think I'm gonna have to go with Tundra. Colonize Tundra. Then we'll have to queue this up as well. And this. Hopefully that will work out. Colonial rights, eight turns, three hundred and twenty one I think I'm gonna buy. Yes. Uh, 
Arctic. Arctic, okay. I think that's about it for this turn. I can't really do anything else. Homeworld is growing nicely. Nothing on the moon. Xakor 2. The planet appears empty of traces of ancient civilization. Sometimes the ruins and artifacts are even stranger when they are absent. Ooh. Okay. No exploitation. What can we do on an asteroid field? Absolutely fucking nothing. <laughs> Geo-industrial plant on the tundra. About the same thing, I guess. Um. Yeah, we'll build this stuff. We will build that. What, what can we do here, really? An asteroid? There's nothing that boosts asteroid stuff. I suppose the only thing we can really do is more science. Right? Yeah. Five hundred dust. What can I buy that's worth five hundred dust? One more turn on that. Moon surveys. Meh. Hmm. Should queue this up. Eight turns for colonial rights, and it costs 368. I could buy that. Farms, supermarket in one turn, not worth buying. Zuba, five turns, colonial rights in five. Colonizable small asteroid. Okay, we're gonna colonize a small asteroid. Hmm. Tiny Terran. Um, this actually takes too long to do. Uh, 398 fudge. Um, 155. I think I'm gonna buy that. Yes. Okay. Bonnie. Mm, need to colonize here too. Okay, no exploitation. Arctic. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Sounds good. What's, what's this? Colonization event. Oyad 1. Artifacts strewn in the ruins show an ancient civilization existed, but the size and shape are like nothing you have seen before. And your scientists and archaeologists wonder what it may mean. Okay. Uh, Oyad 1. Get out an exploitation too. What could we use here? So I add one. Can do hostile plus two production. Vent option. Selfish plus one production. On who oh, wait a minute. Is that permanent? That's for ten turns. Permanent. For some research. Hmm. Permanent production bonus per planet. Per person per planet. Selfish. <laughs> Helpful. I think I won't really make use of a tech option though. Is it on the planet or on it? I think it's on the on just on that planet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Permanent, I think. So, why not? Okay, Geo industrial plant. Um, what do I want to do? This reminds me. So, star system improvement, deep space facility, per colonized asteroid, an improvement. Hmm. Kind of want to do this and this, this. <laughs> Yeah, we'll do... I don't know this. Hmm. 
Industry to dust conversion would also be very helpful. See, oh, now it shows the exact number switching. See, it, it changed the numbers at the top. But before, at the start of today's stream, it didn't. It didn't. God, what? Weird. If I do industry to dust conversion on this planet, I'll get more dust, which I can use to buy out stuff on uh, the developing planets. So I think I'll do that for now. It doesn't seem to be affecting the... And yeah, I'll do that for now. Can we do slightly higher tax? Yeah, not without severe problems on Raijo. Zuban also needs colonial rights ASAP. Excuse me. I think I'm gonna play some more Endless Space tomorrow night too. Because this is fun. Tomorrow is Wednesday. I can do that. Okay, no exploitation because it's queued up at some point. Um, oh, it's yeah, <laughs> it's right there. It's colonized too. Oh, I already, yeah, okay, no, I'll just do that. Rigel, Rigel needs to chill out. Ching is fine. Do we have moon surveys? No, we don't have moon surveys yet. Alright, let's explore the moon. That's gonna be a, a nice boon. And we can do that. Colonial rights. Okay, but there's another planet that... Look, Kionos, I think. Yeah, Kionos is really fucking upset about things. No, wait a minute. It's... Zuban. Colonial rights, yeah. We need to buy it here. More population. Eh. Tiny and small. Eh. 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 No exploitation. Small add. Hyperscale farms. Hyperscale farms it is. Moon survey. Don't think I will cancel that. Survey. I think we actually need to colonize this thing.
<laughs> nice one, Acer Sage. Okay, colonization event summary, discovery, artifacts thrown in the ruins show an ancient civilization existed, yeah, 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 yeah. Plus one production per person on planet. On Oyad. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Huge asteroid belt, huh? Cute. Okay, this is gonna work out well. Global Tech Park. Hmm. I have no idea if, if I'm even on camera yet. Still, I mean, can't actually look at the. Yeah, for the forget about it. Science because reasons. Rachel. Hmm. Tundra. Okay. Didn't queue up on exploitation. Whoops. I'll do that. And that. How much does this cost? 1162? I might actually even want to save up for that because this plant is extremely unhappy. Uh, it might be able to do that next turn, actually. Okay. We will do that. Hmm. Pirates. Are they heading to or from? Because if they're heading to, I'm not interested. <laughs> I don't want to fight the pirates. They can go and bother the he show. The Hisho are really fucking far behind, but me and the Amoeba are apparently the only ones in the running for this particular campaign. Okay. Well, I think that's gonna do it for tonight's Endless Legends stream. Uh, I have to go now, but... I'm really looking forward to seeing what will happen with all of these colony worlds. They're, they're, they're tr starting to shape up pretty nicely. And on Janus, we, I only need five more population until this entire system is full. Mm -hmm. And it's going very nicely. And on Xakor... We're doing some really fun stuff with science. So that's good. 
Okay. Okay. 1,623 science per turn. And lots of other things. Lots of money, lots of production on planets. Actually, we can see. Yeah, yeah, lots of stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> Acer Sage is trying to get in some more publicity for this Friday. 